we are given three vertices of this triangle, OPQ. Three vertices of this triangle. Now, this there is this point R, which is inside this triangle, such that area of this OPR, PQR, and OQR is same. Right, all three areas are same. Obviously, what does that mean? Uh, that this point R should be equal to should be should be the centroid because the centroid divides triangle into three equal areas. Centroid is center of mass, right? Uh, so all three areas should be equal. That's why the centroid is actually center of mass. If you put a if you put a pin at the centroid, the triangle will balance itself, right? Because that is centroid, right? Now what exactly is this question? The question is actually. Um, what exactly is the center of this triangle? So it should be one zero plus three plus six by three, which is nine by three, which is equal to three, and four by zero plus four plus zero, which is four by three. Right. So three and four by three is the correct answer. But how do we know that this centroid is actually um, dividing this triangle into three equal areas? Right. So let us look at that proof also, basic geometric proof. Like, let us take a random triangle ABC. And the medians, medians are AD, uh, BG, and CF. These are the medians. Medians means uh, lines drawn from vertex to the midpoint of opposite side. Right? What does that mean? BD should be equal to DC, or BF should be equal to AF, or AG should be equal to GC. Right? Now, uh, now let us look at this triangle. A, B, D and A, D, C. Both the triangles have the same height, that is A, E, right? And both the triangles have the same base, right? B, D should be equal to D, C because D is the midpoint, right? What does that mean? The area of A, B, D and the area of A, D, C should be equal, right? A, B, D should be equal to A, D, C. Now, at the same time, similarly, uh, let us take this triangle H, B, D or B, H, D, B, D, H. And H D C. These two triangles also bases are same. B D equals to D C. At the same time, the perpendicular is still the same. This line, this short line L. So the area of B D H, B D H, and C D H should be equal. Right. That is this one. So this area is equal to this area. And this center area is equal to this center area. Now at the same time, let us take this triangle A D C. And let us take this triangle D H C. Right, this is the centroid, right? And we know centroid divides this line in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So, what does that mean? DH is one third of this entire AD, right? What is the area of this triangle DHC? Half into this base DH into this perpendicular CI, right? Now, at the same time, this entire triangle ADC, it has got the same perpendicular CI, right? This area is half into AD into CI, right? That is half into AD into CI, CI, and DH C is half into DH into CI, CI, but DH is one third of AD. What does that mean? This triangle's area, DH C, should be equal to one third of ADC, right? What does that mean? This triangle, DH C, should be equal to this, and uh, this one is one third of half of triangle, right? This area. This area is half of the triangle, overall triangle's area, right? So that means this one is one third of half. That means this one is one sixth of the overall triangle. Similar, but this and this are same. That means these two are, each one is one sixth of the overall triangle. Similarly, we can, we have chosen these two points. I mean, similarly, we can choose for other two points. So this triangle is also equal to one sixth of the overall triangle. This also is equal to one sixth of the overall triangle. This also is equal to one sixth of the overall triangle. So we have six parts. So basically, this centroid and medians are dividing the triangle into six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. These six parts. All six parts have the equal area. Right. Now that's why, and all are equal parts. Right. So that's why some of these two and some of these two, some of these two should be same. So what does that mean? This centroid or this medians, this H is actually dividing this triangle HAB is equal to HBC is equal to HCA. So that's why uh, the centroid is actually dividing the triangle into three equal areas. So in this case, uh, the triangle is called OPQ and R. So R is the centroid. Right, guys. Basic high school geometry. 
Now we have discussed, we have proved why centroid is dividing into three equal areas.